This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. We're going to have a little we're going to have ourselves a little review today. A little Louis Vuitton Kirigami through a pouch or pochette Kirigami review. You know, these are really popular and uh the YouTube is kind of not flooded with reviews of this one so i think it's it's about time we give this little baby a proper review hmm. subscribe to my channel if you haven't already push the join button next to the subscription button become a member today get access to extra perks you can also join me on patreon super Jacob, all spelled together there as well for extra perks thank you to all my members and patrons who have already pledged this video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience i live stream every saturday and you are all invited to join me in the live uh chats hi everybody so listen the uh, the pochette kirigami or um, kirigami pochette actually they, they call this one pochette kirigami the seasonal colorways they call kirigami pochette and the seasonal ones cost way more i wonder why because i prefer the og version so i just got this one a couple of days ago and it came in this beautiful box um, it took me a while. I asked my sales associate at Louis Vuitton, like, oh, do you have the Kirigamis? And they're like, oh, well, we can put you on a list and it, when they arrive, we'll let you know. So uh, I got the call. It arrived. I did the unboxing. Check out that video as well. And uh, it came in this little magnetic box. And in this dust bag. But let's get to it. So the Kirigami is literally a three in one. So you don't buy one, but you buy three. So, and yes, they do have seasonal colorways as well. But these are the three classics that you would get, right? And interestingly enough, unlike their, I want to call them collectible counterparts, which would be, here's a little tiny example, the 15 uh, the posh toilette, the 15 centimeter version, the smallest one. Now, unlike this counterpart, which, as you can see, if you look inside here, I use this, I actually have all my stuff in here, but as you can see, this lining is a synthetic lining. It's like a plasticky, almost kind of rubberized type of lining inside of this already synthetic canvas. So unlike the posh toilette, the Kirigami pouches are lined in leather, and they're actually lined in vaquetta leather, but the vaquetta leather has been dyed in a variety of colors. So in the classic iteration of the Kirigami pouch or pochette Kirigami, you got all of these colorways. It is the baby pink, a red, and a burgundy. What is very fascinating is the smell. Okay. Oh, and the smell is, first of all, the leather smells divine. It is a mix. It's a mixed smell of the leather, which is a very thin layer of uh, vaquetta leather. And then you got this plastic canvas. So the two of them together, I think they're glued together and they're also sewn together. So there is a smell of a little bit of that synthetic glue there as well. But... Nevertheless, the more you use it, the more time passes and the more it smells of leather. And it's really, really, really great. And the glazing, I mean, I'm not a big fan of glazing. In this case, it's done pretty well. I got to say, I've never had issues with Louis Vuitton glazing thus far. But then again, I've never used it in such a big, on um, such a long kind of amount of leather like in this case but the glazing is the same color as the leather so you got the pink glazing on the pink interior you got the red glazing for the red interior and you got this burgundy or raspberry glazing for the raspberry interior also what is interesting to note and as i was unboxing these uh some of you who also have this set told me what is fascinating is that the canvases are a little bit different from model to model. Well, this is one model. I'm sorry, the paper fell out. That says exterior coated fabric, interior vaquetta leather. Let me zoom this in. So 
so you get to see this is um, product care guidelines. Okay, so if you if you scan this, you get to see the product care guidelines. But there you go. This is Louis Vuitton's instruction instructions. It just tells you what it's made of. Um, okay, so the canvas used for the biggest one is kind of soft and malleable. But the smallest one is a sturdier canvas. And I was wondering why that would be. And it has a slightly different grain to it. This is kind of more like their old school canvas. And this is more the newer one that they use. This is more the newer one. This is the... So this is an interesting thing when you're reviewing a piece like this to note that. And other people, as I unboxed it and realized this, other people in the chats told me that already have these um, Kirigamis. That theirs also are thicker in the smallest version. Why is that? I don't know. I was thinking, well, maybe it needs to be sturdier because it's little because you got to put cards in here and it has to be or coins. A lot of people use it as a coin pouch. And because you use it as a coin pouch, it's, it tends to get heavier. And so it needs to be sturdier. I don't know why that is. I, at first I thought, oh, it's just the case with mine because maybe they ran out of this canvas. So they used whatever canvas they had left. But no, it seems to be the case with a lot of other people. Um, Fascinating. Now the middle size is the same exact texture as the big one. It's just the little one that has that little thicker, sturdier canvas. Feels very luscious to the touch. I wish all three were made in this canvas, but then again, maybe the big one needs to be more flexible so that it can, I don't know, because of the size. However, it doesn't seem to me as if they made it this way to cheap out on us you know to to make these to save money i don't know it doesn't seem like a, because otherwise they would have made all three with the same canvas so i think there's a practical reason behind this but who knows what it is one thing to note is the positioning of the buttons and the click the clip buttons or whatever you want to call the click buttons there are some sets I've seen that are not very symmetric so you should always check these out now if you know if you're buying them in store so that the that they're positioned right in the center, like, you know, this is kind of very symmetric to this diamond. This one is as well, right at the bottom there. You know, I've seen a few where it's a little bit off center. Same to look at in the middle one. This is, you see, it's not perfectly centered. There's a little bit more space there than there. But it's, for me, still acceptable. I mean, as of late, I've seen Louis Vuitton pieces be way less centered this one is still pretty good you know what i mean it delivers definitely and the really really perfectly perfectly centered one is the smallest one they did a great job with that one now these are made out of one piece of canvas slash leather if we were to cut open this stitch line here as you can see this little envelope type of folding would just open up into a diamond type of shape. The biggest pouch is sewn together from here all the way up here and then down here. There is a hole here. It, it has an opening. It hasn't been stitched down here and also not down here. But this part has been stitched and on the interior You can see that stitching going through. Now these are made in Spain, Italy, US, and France. Mine was made in France. I can zoom this in to show you. It's kind of difficult with the pink. Let me zoom it in. Okay, it's not zooming in. You can see it. I mean, it, because it's like gold and pink, it's really hard to see. But there you have it. I can show you better on the medium size. The contrast is more visible. So this is the made in France version. And then we got the tiniest one in the raspberry or burgundy, also the made in France version. So as I said, they are produced in a variety of countries. I got the one made in France. 
what do they want you to put in these? Whatever you want, right? But they kind of state on their website that you can put a an iPad mini in this one. And in fact, I just so happen to have one. I have uh, the latest lavender color which i am living for this check out this color it's so gorgeous and it kind of really fits very well with this pink interior i know some people are saying oh i wish they had a darker interior for the biggest one but i'm kind of really living for the light one sure it can get dirty easily uh but uh well there you have it it fits and then there's even more room it's not like a perfect snug fit i guess if it were a one-to-one -one fit for the ipad mini Probably Louis Vuitton would have to pay, I'm thinking, Apple to, um, because then if, if it were a size, one-to-one -one size for an iPad mini, I think they would have to pay royalties to Apple. Possibly, maybe. Probably love, little quote, little song, little Bjork song there. So it fits the iPad mini perfectly. I also, you know, put a mask in there if I need you know, if I'm out and about, because you could wear it as a little clutch. A lot of people have written me that they use this as a clutch. It's a little clutch to go out and about. And you can also, it, it still fits a wallet in here if you wanted to. You know, it would just be a little bit more rounded. And um, the medium size is usually meant for little cosmetic giblets. But also a passport can fit in here as well as, you could say, car keys. This is kind of a smaller version of a pouch. Now, I have here a little... Chanel um, makeup blush and then there's still space in here for I got a little lippy and then there's still space in here for hmm, I don't know what else I got here not much really <laughs> I got a little camellia little Chanel Camellia pendant. Let's put that in there as well. You know, you might need it for something. Oh, I got one of um, my um, Super Chat uh, poppers, the Super Deco poppers, little explosives. Ooh, don't pop in here. Don't pop while you're in here, babes. Don't you dare pop on me while you... So there it is. We're like, And there's still some space in there. And then let's see if we can click it closed. Mm. So it does you know, hold quite a bit, right? And then the tiniest one, coins, cards. I have the the Chanel container for the Camellia. It's a little box that the Camellia came in. Put that in here. Oh, uh, too big. Doesn't fit. This is already too big. I got my little meter to measure the size of these things. We can put the little meter in there. Put the little card description of the material in there. Let me see. Can we put a lipstick in here? No. Standard size lippy, like from Chanel, would not fit. So not much fit. It's literally just for cards, you guys, I want to say. What else do I have here? You could try to put in there. Nothing. Everything is too big. This is literally coins and cards. Condoms, <laughs> if you want as well. But that's about it. So let's see how big they are. Got my little centimeter moment here going on. And um, let's see. The length of the smallest one is right about 10 centimeter in length. And then the height would be seven centimeters, 10 times seven for the smallest one. And then we got the medium. And I'm measuring it really from the, the biggest extremity, which would be from here to here, but not from here to here, which is a little bit more dented inwards. You know what I mean? So this, if you measure it from here to here, it would result a little bit shorter than if you measure it from there to there. So just letting you know. It is rounded as well because now I stuffed it. So that's the length and the length is 16 centimeter. So 16 centimeters means it is smaller than this thing by one centimeter. Oh, it is smaller. This is 15 centimeters, the poche toilette. So we have one centimeter less 
Yeah, we do have one centimeter less. You can see that this one is longer by this much. By this much, it's longer than the poche toilette 15. So we got 16 centimeters in length and the height is right about 11, 16 to 11 for the medium size. And then the biggest one is 23 centimeters long. So it's smaller than the Poche Toilette 26 though. Interesting how the proportions are totally off when it comes to the comparison between the Poche Toilettes and the Pochette Kirigami. And 16 centimeters in height. 23 to 16. Interesting. Now, if you put them, like now we got the iPad in here, we got all those other things that I mentioned, like the makeup and the lipstick in here. And we got a couple of cards in here, let's say in a key. It They kind of expand to this size, right? And you could kind of put them together, squish them together a little bit. And when you do that, I think you get a decent, you know what? I think you have decent room to put. The, they're really great for putting in bags. So they add up to be around six to seven centimeters when you put them all together. Not that you're going to put them like this together. You're probably going to put this in a bag. You're going to put this in the zipper pocket of the bag somewhere else and then this one is going to be somewhere else in the bag as well but they're super practical and Louis Vuitton is fa fantastic for organizational purposes when you're traveling or just when you're out and about in the town and you want to compartmentalize your bags I think Louis Vuitton has mastered uh, the artistry of compartmentalizing bags and travel goods and travel accessories and no matter how much stuff you add together there's always a really cool way I could even put it like this and put that next to that and this here. They, there's always ways of kind of like squishing them together, putting them together. Almost feels like a modular type of um, scenario going on there. And they're very tactile as well. I love touching these pieces. Now, are they resistant and robust? Only time will tell. I think they are though. I don't know how it's going to be with time, you know, bending, opening these flaps all the time and closing them. The leather seems to be quite resistant and they are press bent into shape. Well, this is again too light to see. Let's do it. I'm going to show you on the medium size. So let me zoom it in and show you how it is zoomed in. Okay. Um, is the zoom working or not? I don't know. Okay, so you can see here, there, that line. That line, they've pressed it in there so that when you fold it, it, it already has that fold. It actually has a triple fold. So, oh, now you can see it really very well. You see those three lines? That's that triple fold that they made, so it makes it much more easy to to close it, to close the flap, just like that. So I think those, that little detail that they added to the bag is going to help the leather live longer because you're going to be opening it and closing it a lot. So um, it's going to make it last longer. It's just a little detail, but it does help the leather, I feel. But I'll let you know, you know, um, how wear and tear works with time. So there's that. Let me take the popper out. I don't want this thing to explode. <laughs> it's a little tiny firecracker. Because I say popper, people think like, what? No, not those poppers. And it is a cool idea to have them one, like, you know, in each other, inside each other, inside one another. It's a, it's a nice concept. When you buy them, you get them packed inside each other. But obviously, you're not going to use them this way because you're going to fill them up. And when you fill them up, you can't put them inside each other anymore. So it's just kind of receiving them, unboxing them, that it's a pleasure to discover a bag in a bag concept. But this bag in a bag concept 
stops working the second that you start using them because obviously once you start filling them up you're going to have to wear them separately and once you do that you're going to have to start thinking how you put them in the bag and as i said i think the best way is to split them up <laughs> main compartment of your bag side zipper pocket of your bag or you could wear well you could also put it in your pants or jacket or wherever i mean if you have your keys in here and coins always good this is the trickiest one i feel like with a lot of things with louis vuitton what happens is you have also the same applies to the poche toilettes you know with these little guys kind of people tend to either buy the smallest one or the biggest one the one in between i think it's almost like a psychological pattern it's always the one in between that is less used because it's kind of like just one step before the biggest so you want the biggest or it's one step before the smallest so you kind of want the smallest and the middle sized ones usually are the least used is it just me or is, do you guys also have the same issue? Did you see the Fox CLV put the new cosmetic pouch on a chain on Instagram? Oh, Suzy Q, I didn't see that. But for sure, the cosmetic pouch, I mean, all of these pieces can be put on a chain because, and now, you know, there are all of these brands uh, out there that, that create these kind of fillers that you put inside the little filler thing that has two little D rings attached to the side. So when you close it, through the hole, you could kind of have a chain coming through. I don't know if you could do that really with the Kirigami pouches because this is a very tight fit here. And I think if you had a chain coming through here, it would be quite stressful for the glazing and it would damage the glazing pretty soon. I think you would rub through that glazing and it wouldn't end well. But, you know, these have already been turned into uh, little bags uh, by a lot of people that buy them so um that's why louis vuitton now also stepped up their game and created these push toilets or the 26 push toilet out of leather on the side and leather on the inside and they're charging a lot more for them although i do prefer the og just the same like i prefer the og for the kirigamis i'm not a big fan of okay let's put it this way the kirigami pochettes that are coming out as seasonal pieces with different colorways there's one for this summer that had all of was it for this summer was it last winter already with the ombre effect like the fade out and all the pastel colors from dark to light and basically it has a leather interior and the canvas is just a different color but they they, they charge you like i don't know two or three hundred dollars more just because it has a different color i think that's lame um just charge the same amount. It's the same freaking pouch, just as a different color. Why would you charge like a hundred, several hundred dollars more? So, but that's besides the point. The point being, this is the OG, you know, the OG canvas is my favorite. I love the monogram canvas. I'm such a sucker for monogram. So, of course, I'm lucky that, th that this combination costs less than the same three pochettes in a seasonal colorway i'm lucky that they cost less because i prefer them <laughs> but there's that so would you buy uh, the kirigami pochettes would you not buy them is this a crazy purchase you think it's practical is this just useless luxury let me know to me they embellish my life they make me feel super happy <laughs> like even when i'm around the house with with the ipad mini because obviously this smart folio that uh, apple calls it a smart folio which is literally just two parts of you know they just magnetically close this thing together you still don't have any protection around the sides here of the metal right of the ipad mini so this protects the screen and the back maybe a little bit but then the camera isn't protected obviously because there's a hole there so you can keep making pictures so obviously you know and they already charge you like, I don't know, 60 something dollars for this stupid thing, right? For just for the cover. But then when you put it in here, then you're like, okay, well, at least now, at least now the iPad mini is fully protected on every side. Although, again, it's kind of flying in here, sliding left and right. Anyway, but I still love it. So that's that. I hope you like this video. Let me know if you got the, the, the trio, the trifecta of the Kirigamis. And if so... What do you use it for? And if you like it. Very practical, not useless at all, says my CC88. Oh, they're cute, says Thank you, guys. 
Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Subscribe. Mwah.